with Lindsay Carpenter. Lindsay, can you tell us a little bit about your story? Uh, sure. I have, have been asked to be a part of the first ever USA, Team USA, show ski team, which will be competing in an international competition, first ever world competition, in Janesville, Wisconsin, the weekend of September 15th and 16th, whereas the United States team will be competing against China, Belgium, London, Australia, and it's the first ever show ski international competition. When did you get started into this? Uh, I've been show skiing since age two. I was really born into it. My mom was a professional water skier. I grew up in Rochester, Minnesota, where my grandfather was a founding member of the Rochester Water Ski Show team. So I got put on skis at age two, performing in shows by age five, and been doing this my entire life. That is so cool. So what inspires you when you're out on the water? Well, show skiing, it's a huge adrenaline rush all around. Being behind the boat, on the water, uh, I specialize in the swivel ski, which is basically ballet on water, where I'm on one ski that spins 360 degrees around, and we do some fun technical tricks on that. And it's really something specialized by the females. The males <laughs> do not do the swivel ski. Of course. Um, where it's beauty and grace on water. It's ballet on water. Uh, yeah, like I said, the binding spins around, so you can do 360 turns, 720 turns, spinning. Um, and it's also very graceful and kind of a uh, dance motivation in it. And it's really, really fun. I've been on the swivel ski working at that since age 10. And then I also do the human pyramids where I've climbed up four tiers high on fellow skiers in shows. And it's the rush of the audience being on the water. And it's a lot of fun. Woo! Woo! When you're out there, it looks really hard. How hard is it? Well, swivel skiing, it is very, very difficult. It actually takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, a lot of hard work. Like I said, I started at age 10 and I still have to put on my time at that ski. That ski actually, as a beginner, you start with it in a locked position, then you open the binding to spin 180, and then you, after you get all those tricks, you open the binding to 360 where you can do the advanced tricks. So it takes a lot of time. I'm, what, 20 years in, and it just still takes a lot of practice and work. It's actually very difficult difficult uh, technique. What do you do for a career? I'm actually a personal injury attorney in Roseville. I work for Krieger Law Firm, so definitely busy in the work world and this is my time to play. What really drives you? What is your rush when you're out there on the water? Well, I love doing the shows in front of a crowd. I actually water ski with the Midwest Ski Otters where we perform shows every Sunday night throughout the summer, six o'clock free to the public every Sunday and we get huge crowds, a thousand plus people and it's the rush of the audience, the cheering, performing, we actually do stage dancing and uh, acting in addition to the water skiing and so a huge rush being a part of a team and performing in front of large audiences. For the competition it's Team USA so obviously that's a huge rush to be a competitor in the yeah. first ever uh, USA uh, team put together of the most elite skiers. There's 30 of us that were chosen out of thousands of options and applicants and uh, 30 skiers put together that are the best and the best of all disciplines of skiing and it's going to be an amazing, amazing rush performing with uh, Team USA. So what do you plan to do from here? Right now it's just about practice, practice, practice. I do my shows on Sundays where I get to perform in front of a big crowd. Um, so a lot of water time, a lot of practice, and just getting geared up for that competition in September. You're in excellent shape. What do you do to keep in shape and to prepare for these events? Well, definitely in the summer, it's water skiing every day, unless it's storming. So that keeps me in good shape. But in the off season, the winter here in Minnesota, I do a lot of running, lifting weights, time at the gym. Uh, I do like to snow ski. Um, so yeah, just staying active and working out all year round. What do you plan to do for the future? Well, I plan to show ski till I can't anymore. It's really, uh, you know, it's a family sport where, like I said, my mo mom got me into this and she's still skiing at age 50. So I plan to continue my skiing, my swivel specialty and skiing with the Midwest Ski Otters here in White Bear Lake and teaching others. I do a lot of clinics and lessons and so really just sticking with the sport and trying to expand it. And, you know, Team USA, this competition is just huge for me. That's kind of the, the top of, of what I wanted right. for goals wise. But I definitely plan to just continue the sport and, and keep, keep playing on the water. Thank you, Lindsay. Good luck and what a rush.